Starting us off, I wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing of this card, and the box art is really cool, reminds me of the art we used to get on GPU boxes in the mid to late 2000s. Although whoever put that bubble there didn't realize it probably makes it look like puke. <laughs> on the back, there's some specifications and features listed for the card, along with system requirements. Opening up the box, we get some install and starter guides, and the accessories box, you get an ARGB extension cable, and along with that, you get a really nice metal GPU support bracket, not that little flimsy plastic jack that MSI gives with their premium cards. And then the GPU comes wrapped in an ESD bag. As for specs, the RX 9070XT is built on AMD's latest RDNA 4 architecture and uses the Navi 48 XTX GPU, manufactured on TSMC's 5 nanometer process. It has a 357 millimeter square die, 64 compute units for a total of 4,096 shaders, 256 texture mapping units, 128 render output units, 128 AI cores, and 64 ray accelerators. It's paired with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory running at 20.1 gigabits per second across a 256-bit interface. Total board power is rated at 317 watts and thankfully it's delivered through dual 8-pin power connectors. No 12-volt high power nonsense over here. Moving on to this card's design and build, the Sapphire RX 9070 XT Pure Edition makes a bold visual statement with its all-white aesthetic. The shroud and triple fan cooler are completely coated in a frosty white matte finish, matched by a full-length metal backplate that adds to the premium vibe. It's a chunky triple slot card with three large fans dominating the front, so be prepared, this thing has some heft. That said, the design is sleek and surprisingly elegant. Sapphire kept the look clean and cohesive, with minimal branding aside from the black AMD Radeon text and a subtle pure logo on the backplate. The whole vibe is more Stormtrooper-like than Gamer Bling, and personally, I'm all for it. It manages to stand out as a centerpiece in your PC without resorting to any gouty accents and still looks more mature and minimalistic. Build quality is excellent, and even though the shroud is plastic, there's no cheap flex or creaking at all, and the card feels solidly put together with a rigid frame underneath. The all-aluminum backplate isn't just for show either. It reinforces the car to prevent any PCB sag and twisting over time, and it even has a large ventilation cutout to help the heat escape. Aside from that, the Pure Edition doesn't go RGB crazy. The only lighting is the Sapphire logo along the edge, which is modest and tastefully done. You can customize its color and disable it entirely. It's up to you how you want it. Now let's talk about the cooler's design, because Sapphire clearly put a lot of thought into it. The RX 9070 XT Pure backs a massive heatsink that runs runs through the entire card, and those three fans are not just for show, they use Sapphire's latest aero curve blade design to push more air efficiently with less noise.